I'm Rod Southam, and I'd just like to welcome you to the Aspire Europe PMQ e-learning course. I'm the managing director, and we've been working on this material for nearly 12 months with the team to create what we hope to be a game-changing approach to digital learning. All right, we uh, appreciate this is probably the most complex course to create some dynamic interfacing and activities for you to work with. Uh, which is why it's taken us so long. So we've created case studies, interactivity, we've got videos, we've got the whole gambit because we appreciate this one's going to be tough for you. Uh, normally this would be crammed into five days, so what is that, five, eight, 40 hours, uh, possibly with some pre-reading pre of seven or eight hours and evening work of three hours a night. So you're looking at 60 odd hours if you did it face to face and you did it properly. So uh, in this case, we're about the same. Uh, but you can spread it over a year or you can just hammer it away over a couple of days yourself. So that's up to you how you go about it. We've created modules for you to be able to select your journey through the knowledge. What I would say is um, even if you're the most experienced project manager, there will be things that will be new to you. Yeah, because you'll specialise in certain parts of the project management process and from an APM perspective, to get their PMQ qualification and get those letters MAPM after your name, you need to hold, know the whole lot, okay? Some areas are more likely to come up than others, and there's some exam guidance on that. But the most important thing is you prepare and plan your time properly, and we really hope you enjoy it. We'll look forward to getting your feedback at some stage, and we really hope you get through the exam when the time comes. But enjoy the course. Uh, take your time to reflect on what you're reading, and enjoy the experience. Okay, let's have a little look at what we've included in the pack for you guys to get you through to MAPM status, basically, to be a member of the professional body. So the first thing you need to know about is the body of knowledge. Now, you could well be very experienced and have been around project management for a long time. The chances are you'll become specialist in certain areas, whereas the APM are really looking at a broad suite of topics that they need to cover. We've covered about 20 to 22 of them in the body of knowledge material. Now, some of that might be pretty basic if you're experienced, but there will be things in there that you're not overly familiar with, I'm sure. So before moving on to the PMQ package, you need to have actually got your head around that a little bit, right? Um, each one of those modules is about an hour, we reckon. Uh, but if you're very experienced, you may be able to just flick through it in five or 10 minutes. As a minimum, I'd suggest you have a go at the multi-choices in each of those modules. So potentially, you know, that could be um, anything from a couple of hours up to 16, 17 hours of learning in the first stage. Then we move on to the PMQ pack, where we've had to have a little think about how do we help you understand project management and how it should be used? Because PMQ expects you to know more than just being able to regurgitate the context of a manual. So. You can work on this and what we've come up with is five modules and each one of those modules is looking at the journey through a project so the first module is really is that one's more about getting you set up and looking at the context around project management things like leadership types of projects types of life cycles that sort of stuff then you move on to the second package and we do all the things that you would do around starting up a project then we look more in about definition and then design and delivery. So um, we've kind of built our materials around that. And those slides are very much about taking a step in the process, looking at the um, tools you might use and illustrating them with examples. We also have built this case study. Uh, this case, we call it Project Reno, uh, which is not surprisingly project renovation where we give you a chance to actually choose a house and renovate it. Now, most projects are really about getting it right in the early days. And so a lot of the stuff in there is around starting up and definition. Um, this is by far the most complex thing we've ever built. Um, it's kind of based on the idea of gamification. And so we give you a, we give you a bunch of options and then we give you what we think would be the right answer, but it doesn't mean yours is the wrong answer. So in each one of those PMQ slide packs, you're going to work your way through Project Reno, looking at it through the eyes of the sponsor or the project manager. 
And then we have the problem, the syllabus. OK, so there's something like 80 areas of that syllabus that they could ask you a question on. So when we looked at how we might deal with this, we thought, well, we could give you lots of input information. But maybe if you're experienced and by the time you get to these questions, you should have that you should know the body of knowledge. We will have covered the ideas during the modules. So we're just going to ask you the question. Yeah. And we actually give you a chance to make some notes on the question slide and then we'll give you a suggested answer. Yeah. So, you know, for example, what are the roles of what's the difference between the project manager and the project sponsor? You can type in what you think the differences are um, and we then give you what we think they are or a way of answering that question. All right. So the PNQ package is a set of project slides based around project delivery a case study and the syllabus questions and they're all bolted in together for you to work on. So each one of those is um, a good few hours work, um, but you're not in any rush. You're on e-learning, so um, <clears throat> um, you should be able to work your way through it. Uh, and if you are in a rush, just work long hours. Right. So other things that we bundled in, we uh, built a thing called PM3 framework a few years ago for our clients, uh, which was intended to be and in fact was seen as the ultimate integrated framework because it links together portfolio program project covers life cycles covers standards way of doing things guidance and that kind of stuff so that's available to you throughout the course so it's all about how to apply it and one of the reasons we built that was a lot of organizations were not very good at applying the principles of project and program management into their operating environment so we built one and we used to sell it but we're going to give it to you for nothing on this course we've then got additional guides we've got some faq web pages um, that you can read up on you know like product management or whatever it happens to be um, and we've got these, these things called h2gs or how to guides now you will come across those in some of the uh, modules anyway but the idea was if you need to go away and do benefits or stakeholder analysis or cost profiling, you add this quick reference guide. So we've got those and there's a few articles. We've been pretty um, busy with articles over the years. So there's articles for you to read up on, on planning and planning principles and all that kind of stuff. We've also got all the APM exam guidance and that's recently been updated to include um, example questions and example answers, which is something we've not had in the past. Um, and we didn't have when we started designing the course. So uh, we've kind of dealt with some of that stuff as well. But um, it's good to see what the exam board thinks about how the answer questions should be answered. And it's the first time they've done that since box sevens come out. OK, so that's what you can look forward to seeing in the course. Um, I really hope you enjoy it. Uh, with your feedback will always be welcome. And we, we wish you all the success in the world when it comes to the actual exam. Um, and if you've only bought the e-learning, we're confident it'll get you there. It's been accredited by the APM. Um, and if you needed any one-to-one -one coaching, then we've got those as packages as well. Okay, so good luck uh, and enjoy the course.